You fell asleep in it? <sighs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I realized in my editing that no wonder I missed a couple of purple coins, because there was a couple of areas that I didn't re-go over. See that post over there? See that? Oh, oh, well, yes. Well, there we go. Look at that. It's just, oh man, it's, the purple coins over there, it's, it's amazing. I know, I know. <laughs> Um, and also I realized, I think there was a moon actually down over here? I do believe so? Somewhere? I... By the sparkle area thing? Uh, I don't know, maybe there wasn't here, at least not right now. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know, I could have swore there was something there. Anyway! And the other thing that I definitely forgot to check around is literally around the big tower here. Yeah, see this here? And I don't have enough height. <laughs> uh, yeah, the thing about um, the Goombas is that you can only get so much height to uh, their flight. And that's why I started out with the higher up one and not the lower one. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, like when you land, your maximum height that you can actually go upwards resets. And that's gonna actually be a factor in the next thing that I remembered that I missed. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be able to show you that in more detail when I get over there. So yeah, above this big tower here, there is another sort of hat-like door dealio around there, and we are going over there and we are gonna collect a couple moons and the last couple of purple coins. How's that sound? Well, I can't hear you right now, so I'm just gonna assume you said that sounds good. <laughs> We're in. Uh-oh. Poison water waves of doom. This does not look good, but yet, it is totally doable. Careful, careful, careful. So yeah, uh, when you get your starting height, you can always go. It always, it's like you can always go back up to that height, but when you land, it's it ends it off. And that was that was way too tight. <laughs> there we go. Just got got play, play with the waves. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. That, that, that is like hot lava. Hot lava is bad. Poison water is bad. All right. So there's a moon. Of course, and that takes care of that one, but there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm gonna go under here, there's a broken piece of Kate, and yeah, uh-huh, <laughs> there are the final three purple coins, and now remember I said you couldn't get any more height, I'm, I'm, I'm mashing it, I'm mashing it, what if I land? And then start mashing again. Look at that! See, it resets the heights. <laughs> that's how the Goomba flight works. And here is moon number two, slipping through the poison tide. I can go down over here and exit. Um, I just want to see if it's here just yet. I don't know if it is. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to actually go to the central plaza to see. See the the timer challenge. Two? I, I don't think it's here just yet, because I thought it was like somewhere around this way, like this area here. Yeah, I think it's normally like around here or something like that, so I don't think the timer challenge is here either, just like there wasn't a moon over by that other hat that I thought there was a moon, but- Oh, wait, wait why did I go? <laughs> why did I go over there? That Odyssey is where I want to go. Oh, and by the way, the residents here are called the Bonitors. If if you didn't get that hint from, uh, well, you know, you know the whole names of everything. <laughs> All right, so let's put those moons in there and head on over to the next kingdom. Full on moons, baby! Woo! We're pretty much perpetually full on, <laughs> full on moons at earlier kingdoms. What a kingdom! Let's go, cutscene! Woo! Oh wait! I just realized I forgot to buy the stuff at the shop. I'm gonna go back there after the cutscene. <laughs> oh jeez. I got all the purple coins, I was like, oh. 
after I start flying, and then then I remember to go back to the shop. I'm an idiot. Anyway, cutscene first. <laughs> Seeing as how he's got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Ground pound jump. I never really taught this, but I have kind of demonstrated it. When you want to get up high in a regular jump, won't quite do it. Jump right after a ground pound. This so-called ground pound jump will give you the boost you need. You use the power of your butt to spring even higher. And let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful flower Saree Bouquet. Actually, I think it's Saree Bouquet. Based on that accented E, I think. Because I think it's the same accent that Pokemon has. Yeah, I, I, I purposely stress, stress that, that middle. <laughs> Alright. What a kingdom! Roll to Sky Garden! Let's begin! After we go to the shop. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Alright, let's buy everything. How's it going there? Hello, hello! This classy number is the best seller at Bonneton's class. Crazy Cap Shop, yes, we must buy that. I mean, who would guess why it's a bestseller? I mean, it only looks like the residence. <laughs> yeah, put on that black tuxedo. There we go. Sure, okie dokie. And top hat tower sticker. Sure, gotta decal our Odyssey up. Oh, a plush fog. I love my plushies. They are big, they're fluffy, good for display and cuddling. And the tower model. Let's buy that up as well. The most expensive thing here. Voila! And let's see what we are wearing now. Oh man, we are classy! <laughs> and oh, I was gonna go over there again, dang it. <laughs> Alright, back over to the Wooded Kingdom. Here we are! <laughs> Alright. Alright. That was just. That was just embarrassing. Oh, and that's gonna be. It, it, oh, okay, so this is perfect. It's replaying the cutscene, just like I. Just like I planned. <laughs> that's fine as is. So, we've got these Steam Gardeners. That's literally their names here. Here's something like. You see the event save initiating my panic and spin routines. Panic and spin! <laughs> A servant of the Bowser Monster is illegally accessing a flower supply! During the last ordering cycle, an unidentified object flew by! Oh no! Oh no! And there's a shop already! Oh no! We did not the purple coins again! I'm gonna forget to go to the shop again! No! 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 Well, I could buy out the stuff here so you just spend the money! <laughs> we have acquired any products to sell! Alright, I'll buy a Power Moon! Sure, I'll be the first one we can get over here, just because. Ooh. Yeah, shopping in Steam Gardens right off the bat. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you again and buy out your new garb here. There we go. I, I'll actually, I actually will change that to the mechanic cap. And I'll go over to the mechanic outfit. Sure, it's kind of kind of fitting for the area. Just, just. Just saying, just saying. And... Voila! <laughs> and if you take a look on the back, it's got Famicom on the cap. That is, of course, a Japanese Nintendo. Anyway, you can destroy boxes! Yes! My dream in gaming has come true. I've, I've destroyed so many boxes, I can't even say that. Dang it, Bowser, you've taken over all the radio waves. <laughs> Um, oh well, yeah, there's purple coins over there. There's one of those metal blocks there. I guess I'll grab the purple coins behind the shop just right away. But I'd like to go take a peek see around the outer perimeter just to, just to explore a little bit for the heck of it. There's some secret purple coins behind, well, in the inside this trunk. I don't, I don't know if they grew there, but they're there. <laughs> oh, hello. Bunk. That's not a moon. That is certainly a shiny spot, and a shiny spot must not be ignored. I think there's a painting somewhere around. Or not a painting, a uh, a hint art, I thought. 
I thought, maybe, maybe, hmm, hmm. I think one of these rocks contained the moon, too. Or maybe, maybe not those, but one of these rocks that, uh, let's see here. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, oh, that's, I don't think we even unlocked that person yet. I'm taking a capture of that just in case, though. <laughs> and why did it make the capture sound? That was weird. Let's do that again. Yeah, it didn't make the shutter sound. Weird. Weird. Anyway. <laughs> so then that's for later. And that's obviously back over at the Sand Kingdom, but yeah, we don't really... We're not going back there again for a while. <laughs> We've got so many moons from there. So many moons. <laughs> um... I wonder if I can do the things up on this ledge here. Yeah, you can actually go... Oh, I didn't... <laughs> it didn't do my dive, dang it. Okay, hop, turn, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's a, it's sort of like a shortcut up there, but yeah, I don't know if I can do the things up here yet, because I don't think the timer challenges are unlocked as of right now, but I can go grab those purple coins over the ledge and keep on heading up here just because we can it's the yeah it only looks like there's a wall that you can't go over oh but you can indeed go over this wall <laughs> and don't fall over the edge um well i mean yeah you can fall over the edge but for the sake of organization let's not fall over the edge hint hint <laughs> i'll show you what i mean by that later on but for now, I'm just going to focus on the uh, upper portions of these parts here. And, uh, yeah, there definitely is no current timer challenge going on around here. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that critter! Right there! See that? That is quite the handy thing. It's called an uproot, and, well, it's actually got a hat on right now. You can't... Yeah, that's, that's the actual critter. What you do is you press the B button to stretch your legs. Yeah, hence the name Uproot. <laughs> and you just kind of bunk all day and all night. And they're gonna try and attack me all day and all night too, but they're kind of they're kind of slow. <laughs> and especially since you can whack them with your hats and well, not whack them with your hat. You take over them with their with your with their hat and yeah, details, details. Uh, okay, I explored this portion. Pretty good. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'll take one of you guys with me, actually. <laughs> because I think that there's some purplies that'll make things a little bit easier to get with you. So I'll just, yeah, right over there, I think. Or maybe I can use the tree to get them. I think that's... I think it's a tree. Or not, I can do it that way, too. That's it's fine. <laughs> danger! Danger! It's talking about me, by the way. At least I think. <laughs> I'll just, just move you off to the side here. And... Uh, do you know of Amiibo? You may try holding right and tapping any Amiibo on the NFC touchpoint. A desirable outcome is all but certain. <laughs> I've already demonstrated that though. You are programmed to grow flowers. The flower flowers are programmed to grow. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's why they're called the Steam Gardeners. They're the guys who take care of this place and grow out those flowers. I'm not going to do the quiz yet until I actually get... Uh, more information on said quiz so things make sense to you, so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we have cleared out things quite sufficiently, so I guess I could get a move on here. <laughs> the actual, wait, actually, no, I think the, the path is through here, come to think of it. Hold on. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the Bowser mon mon monster want to this kingdom? Of course, the flowers, we already heard. But should I say something else? What? Really, as the locals might say, that does not compute. <laughs> Pay attention when people, see, even if they use flower e language. <laughs> Oh, there's people in stone monuments, we laugh at you, ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, I guess I could do this quiz now, because we already heard that, like, from the others, that wants the flowers. <laughs> Alright, same dialogue as before. Yeah, that was correct, okay. So yeah, uh, I thought it was the other path that I seen at the upper area, but, well, they both do lead to the same area. That's like a side path of sorts, so to speak, so... Yeah, I just want to take the main paths first. 
Backward somersault. I already kind of taught this. You're looking for the easiest way to get somewhere to the right. You jump, go up, cut, reach. Stop. Crouch and press B to do a backward somersault. Well, more specifically, you want to put your back to the place that you want. Oh! <laughs> I read the sign because I had. I was still next to the sign. And my, even though my back was turned. But yeah, you want to turn your back to the area because you move. You move in that direction that your back is facing. Uh, wasn't there also something... Uh, I thought there was something... Hmm... Nah, I guess not. Anyway! Uh, next area... Ooh! Poison. You can wipe that poison clean with your hat, but... It'll come back later, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about the poison right now. Just leave that poison to me! Yeah, I... Sh I, I guess I shall. <laughs> And now we're really rocking with the music. Yeah! Woo! By the way, do not obviously touch the poison that that'll cause damage to you. <laughs> um, I get, mm, oh, that's blocked off until I get something a little bit later on. But I think there's actually something in inside one of these poison things. Maybe not now, though. I don't know. I don't... Mm. I don't know, I just want to, I feel like I need, I should be wiping through that a little bit, just a couple of times over, just to see for sure. I don't think there was, but yet, at the same time, I feel like there probably is. <laughs> and I guess I'll go ahead and grab another one of you uproot duders and check out what is above the warp. Man, you are, you are persistent there. <laughs> Obviously, I want those. <laughs> That's what I came here for. But there's also this side path here, and uh, these are gonna fall. Yep. <laughs> this over here. Actually, no, no. I, I should actually still be with this because you whack that multiple times with uproot, and then yeah, there we go. You don't have to. You don't have to get out. You just keep on going. The nut around the corner. Um, I think there's something else down there too. Um, or maybe it wasn't at this angle, because I could have swore there was like a whole side path. I don't remember if it was here or if there was another, maybe it was there where that platform was, but yeah, I remember there was something along the cliff, and it was something that I, com I completely missed. Oh yeah, oh, I want your dialogue, but you're too afraid of the residents. <laughs> It appears the Bowser monsters minions are still on top of the tower. All right, about the flowers, we are going there. And what can we do? Hmm. We could shoo them out. That would be pretty useful. By the way, if you go in the water with something that's incompatible, you'll automatically get pooped out of said incompatible critter. And I might as well go down in the pipe, I guess. There's a little bit of a bonusy side area type dealio. The water rises and falls, so you can guess that is going to mean that there could be something hidden high or hidden low. But anyway, I'm gonna go actually... Oof, I think there's actually something hidden up by one of those fuzzy alcoves. I don't know which one it was though, but I just wanna take a peek see. Okay, it wasn't that one. I mean, it does look like that there's a ceiling there, so that would make sense, but... <laughs> It's gonna get a little air there, and oh, it's already started rising. Very nice. Very nice. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Well, as they say, hold on. I wanted to check that underside, but wait a second. Uh, I think I, I think it was here. Boink. Boink. Yes, yes, yes. That's where it was. It wasn't where the fuzzies were. It was flooding pipeway ceiling secret. Uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> All right. So that is done. Let's go ahead and get these. Oh no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to jump that time. Didn't want to do the ground pound jump that early. And oh shoot, that's that good. I got. Oh that's. Oh yeah, that's right. My my health recovers after grabbing a moon, so we are good. And I think this is all cleared out now. Yeah, flooding pipeway. I, who would have guessed? <laughs> who would have guessed that was what it was called? And yes, that was a side-scrolling area too. If you didn't notice. That should be relatively obvious, though. <laughs> I might as well go grab these on the little water pathway here, and then loop around and grab these before I go on the lower pathway. Now, this was back where the poison was. Like I said, this this poison just keeps coming back, so I don't just don't really even 
bother with it, but <laughs> and there's another one of those look around the however you please dealios. And is this the side? No, this is not the side path. So where was that side path? Maybe it's not open right now. Hmm. 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 Anyway, I want that checkpoint before I forget it. So if you don't mind, I just there we go. Iron Road entrance. And yeah, you can kill the poison prana plants by putting the hat in there and then jumping on them or kicking at them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's how things work. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't mean to. Man, that stuff really coats you fast. <laughs> uh, I'm still looking for that side path. Uh, well, there's this, but I don't think this is the side path I was looking for. Um, no. That's there for Fire Bro territory. How's it going there? You just have to kill him and you're good. Oh, nice. I said you just have to kill him and you're and you're good. But who who would have guessed I would have had that much issue? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't. That that's why you put your hat in there. I mean, you have, you put your hat on the scarecrow at first, because part of the challenge is defeating the Hammer Bro. Well, I mean Fire Bro without your hat. So yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's one way to get your hat back, I suppose. Um, oh. Thank you for messing with me, camera. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, I'm just killing myself by running into... Please give me a heart. Please, or otherwise... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, otherwise I'll be pr probably be back at the checkpoint with how recklessly I'm playing right at the moment. What is this box on top of the world here? Hmm. Hmm. It's almost as if we could use a critter to get that, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, yes it is. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. Gimme, 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 and now we go. <laughs> now remember, you can do that to give yourself a little bit of air. Like, you can't actually jump jump, but yet you can jump by giving yourself air this way, which is by holding, yeah. Hmm, yeah. Oh. I wanted to be all fancy with that, but... <laughs> Okay, fine, fine. We'll just move on with the groove on, literally, with this music. Also, there, you're also getting the delightful hearts that recover our energy from the flubbery. And by the way, you can also you can traverse this pretty easily just by using the uproots thusly. And that's what you're actually supposed to do over here and whatnot. You can actually skip a whole lot of this, though, by going by doing some long jump fancy shenanigans to get across to there, but let's just do this normal way, <laughs> for, just for the sake of showing everything. Come on, no, no. I just wanna, just wanna kind of, yes, yes. Oh well, I wanna hit the left. Mm. There we go. That's what I wanted to do on the other block, but well, you anyway, you can push these up and down using the powers of your uproots. And you see, already see me breaking blocks using this before. Oops, I, well. Uh, I just want to go up here to reach this over here first. There's a little bit of a moon up there, the nut in the red maze. Yeah, this looks kind of rusty, actually, like rusty orange to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, no, actually, the walls are red, but the, the surfaces look more like rusty orange. Interesting, interesting. It could be either the red or the orange maze for all we... For all we know, I guess, if you want to rename it yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab those. By the way, yeah, those are the spawn points for the uproots. Those little, yeah, those little digging spots there. Those are just there in case you kill an uproot and you get yourself stuck. Because this is obviously another sort of kind of like side-scrolling type area in a way. It's not as side-scrolling e as the other ones, but yeah. But there is actually uh, something else to get here later on when we... Uh, come back through here again, but for now, let's go to the Iron Road halfway point. Actually, I should probably ditch the uproot now, as it's kind of... Oh yeah, by the way, you can also hit rocks into the piranha plants as well, and they'll, uh... Oh, I guess maybe not that one. <laughs> That's the big poison piranha plants. And that is, uh, well, the end of the chapter, I suppose. <laughs> because that's, uh, yeah, you can hit that into Piranha Plants, just like I was saying there. And you can actually take over. Yeah, um, uh, it's not really the most useful thing. But you can do it! You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, it's, yeah, it's because you're, you're just always rooted into place like that. Not a lot of people know that you can take over piranha plants, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of... You know what? I'll just grab the moon. I think the poison is gonna clear off after I grab the moon, as a matter of fact. Woo! Road to the Sky Garden! Is complete. <laughs> And, of course, that'll open up, because that was a story moon, so... Flower of Thieves of Sky Garden, guess who we're battling next? In a floating, flying ship, airship type thing? Yeah, who would have guessed? But for now, I think I'm gonna end off the part here, and yes indeed, the poison did clear. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we rock this music more, and... Probably boot out those, uh, invaders. Uh, you can fall asleep there, Mario, that's okay. Just don't fall asleep in the smoky soot again, that is not good for you whatsoever.